All right, well, it's estimated 20 million Americans have thyroid disease, and we have Dr. Nidhi Kumar on call this morning with more on why thyroid dysfunction is actually on the rise and if you might be at risk. So joining us here on the couch, good Hi. morning, good Dr. Morning. Kumar. Thank you so much for being here. So we want to know a little bit more about the thyroid, uh, where it is in the body, and what it even does. Okay, so the thyroid is a small gland. It sits at the base of your neck, and it produces a hormone that exerts an influence on literally every cell, every tissue, every organ in the body. Now the main function of the thyroid is to control our metabolism and it plays an important role in other critical body functions. Your energy level, your heart rate, mm. your mood, your concentration, your memory. So it's a small gland but makes a big impact. Small gland but very important. Very important. So what causes thyroid dysfunction and what can go wrong with it? Yes. So. Okay, last year there were 100 million prescriptions for thyroid replacement medication written in the United States. Wow. Okay, so dysfunction is a big issue. The thyroid can get sluggish, we call this hypothyroidism, in which case patients feel fatigue, weight gain, even depressive symptoms. But then on the other hand, the thyroid can become overactive, we call this hyperthyroidism. Mm. Patients get anxious, difficulty sleeping, weight loss, palpitations. Now the most common cause of thyroid disease is autoimmune, which means your immune system is actually attacking your healthy thyroid. But inflammation can cause the thyroid to be dysfunctional, uh, which could be caused from lifestyle, pregnancy, infections. It's a very sensitive organ. Um, and, you know, then there's certain medications that can also affect the thyroid. But I want to make the point mm -hmm. that not all weight gain and fatigue is thyroid dysfunction. Like that. Right. Okay, so now that we know a little bit more about it, who is at risk? Okay, gender, gender plays an important role. Being female is an important part of this. Women have a 10 time greater risk of having thyroid disease than men. And the connection here is estrogen. Uh -huh. Irregular estrogen levels prevent the thyroid from functioning normally. So you think okay. of the life of a female. Pregnancy, menopause, and then we have all these chemicals in our environment that disrupt your estrogen levels from plastics in a bottle to certain chemicals in nonstick cookware. Genetics play a role. And then finally, you can't have a conversation about thyroid disease or anything autoimmune without talking about gluten. Now, for mm. some patients, gluten sensitivity can cause thyroid disease because their immune system is cross-reacting between thyroid tissue and gluten because the thyroid molecule and the gluten molecule are very similar at the molecular level. And so your immune system thinks that it's reacting to gluten, but it's actually reacting to your thyroid tissue. Interesting. Yeah. So should we also test for uh, gluten or celiac well, it's a, testing for thyroid? You thyroid. know what? It's important to really know your body. So if you're gluten sensitive, you need to be thinking about your thyroid as well. Okay. Um, and then I guess just lastly, what can we do then to improve our thyroid health? Do we have control? Is there something that we can do? Okay. So we live in this world that is pro-inflammatory. We live in an environment that is full of these chemicals. So you know, it's, it's a problem, but we don't need to add fuel to the fire. So we want to avoid those thyroid stressors, anything that's going to kick up inflammation in the body or worsen autoimmune disease. So do things to lower your stress level, get good sleep, good exercise, eat whole foods, get rid of those fake foods, those ultra processed foods, those refined sugars. If you're gluten sensitive, try to lower the amount of gluten you're uh, taking in. And then also don't over supplement iodine. Some people think they can protect their thyroid by taking iodine supplements, but if you live in the Western world, you're getting enough iodine in the diet, and by taking extra supplements, you could be doing more harm than good. Mm -hmm. Okay, there is such thing as too much of a good thing. So. Exactly. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Nidhi Kumar. As always, appreciate you being with us. Yep. Thanks so Take much. Care. And we'll be right back on CBS News New York. Stay with us.